Hello, Nicky Man. Hi. How are you? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Sweet. This is Ford, my bestest friend of all my friends. Jeez, doesn't she know any fat guys? Lucky name, that's enough to fight the Dark Master. Vader. Most of your jokes are Xander. Um, uh, I did not get until I was older. Because, really? Yeah, because they were just so like naughty and, and, they, were and naughty. they were you. They were naughty. I'm pretty sure they were written for you. They like, were. Yeah, they were, weren't they? But well, it's the thing with writers, they, uh, um, when, when they're hired, they'll follow the actors around on set, so they'll get their cadence down. And how, and, and what kind of sense of humor they have. There's only one person that could have played Xander, and you're looking at him. How? What? Okay, so what was the funniest moment that you had on the set of Once More with Feeling, the funniest, musical episode for funniest, people that don't know? Funniest moment. Here's what happened. Here's the story. So when Joss wrote the script, there are actors on the show who felt that he jumped the shark. So what Joss did was he, he, he shot mine and Emma's scene first, cut it together, and then, and then showed like the naysayers that no, this is what we're going to do. So okay. I think it was shooting that scene to prove that Joss Whedon was worthy of writing a musical. Okay. That was, that was funny. Were scenes with Emma, how, how were they? Great, she's wonderful. You, I mean, you can't argue with the product, right? Gotta love Anya. Yeah, I love Gotta and love. I said it's easy. I love and I said it's easy. I try, but there's these fears I can't quell. Is she looking for a pot of gold? Will I look good when I've got no? Will the life become too stressful if I'm never that successful? When I get sworn and wrinkly that I look like David Brinkley. Am I crazy? Am I dinner? Am I marrying a demon? We can really raise a vegan and make a marriage to hell. So thank God, God I'll, I'll never tell. Oh, that was nice. Good job. Awesome, awesome. We, like, I, I'm just gonna throw the notes down. Joss Whedon is one of the best directors in the world. To, to me, I've, I've, since Buffy, I was just right. like, this guy is, whew. Then he went on to uh, make a small little film. Avengers. Yeah, have you heard of it? No. I am the god of thunder! Wow. Wait, well, he did Cabin in the, the Woods beat, first. Beat budget. Oh, that, he, no, that he, one. He did Cabin in the Woods. Classic. I dare you to make out with that wolf. No problem. And then he did Avengers. Oh, yeah. They did Avengers too, and he's like, he hated fanboys. Yeah. He's like, screw it. Yeah. Stupid fanboys. Yeah. Who was one of the castmates that you really enjoyed working with, and why? Why did you enjoy working with that particular castmate? Why are you writing down everything that I'm asking you? I'm interviewing you. Tony oh, Hammer. True. Tony Hammer's wonderful. Just, just wonderful. Giles. Giles. Nerve endings, screaming in silence. Never knowing which thought might be your last. Oh, shut up. Spike and Xander were a lot of fun. A lot of fun um, to, to play off each other because we were the odd couple. I happen to be very biteable, pal. I'm moist and delicious. All right, yeah, fine. You're a nummy treat. And don't you forget it. Uh, Xander and Angel, no fun. Zero, we just ignore each other, blatantly ignore each other, so not fun at all. Why don't you come back during the day? Oh, gee, no, I guess you can. Uh, but yeah, I'd say Spike, and then, and then, and then Tony. Who do you feel was a very underrated character on the show? Giles. This could get ugly. Could it possibly get uglier? I used to be a highly respected watcher, and now I'm a wounded dwarf with the mystical strength of a doily. Giles was the hardest part to play in that show. Because he had yeah. to be affable, he had, he was, had to be funny, and he, and he was in charge of giving all the exposition. Yeah. That's tough. I'm doing the jokes. A party in my eye socket, and everyone's invited. Sometimes I shouldn't say words. Well, what do we do if it doesn't work? Kill us both, Spock. <laughs> How do you feel that the character of Xander molded you as Nicholas Brandon, especially since this, uh, since, since you spent so much time on the role? We molded each other. Uh, I'm eighty percent Xander, and, and and the twenty percent like with like the kind of like the going to cons and collecting like figurines. I'm not, but our comedy is is spot on. I mean, why else would she be acting with such a bitch? Well, I, 
I think we're a little too old to be spelling things out. A bitka? Do you feel that the role of Xander negatively affected you and may have possibly led to depression? Yeah, 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 but not in the, it's, it's, the celebrity did for sure. Um, the role of Xander affected me because I didn't think I would get typecast and I definitely got typecast as Xander. I thought I was the one character that would not get typecast and I got typecast. Like no one would really hire me after, after Buffy. Like I did Criminal Minds, I did the uh, uh, Kitchen Confidential, but I was kind of untouchable. Like Fox wouldn't see me and I'm like, why, you know? So it was really kind of odd that, that of, all the, of all the characters that Xander was the most typecast. Step it up, pastry pack, table seven's waiting. Watch where you're going, numb nuts. Ah, why don't you watch where you're going, numb nuts? Ah. I think the amount that I had to work, um, Xander didn't per se. I think maybe you just showed it a little bit. You're not really, there's not, you don't know how to be a celebrity. There's not a class on that. So I just kind of was like out of my element a little bit. Uh, but I don't think he really added to it. I think that I had it going in and, and, I, and I used it, but no, I don't think he added to it. So you're a watcher, huh? Watch this. Now, now tell me, how is it like playing Vampire Xander? Because that, that was fun, I didn't like it. It was fun, like it? but I don't like play evil. Or if I play evil, I like to, to, to play like against evil. I like to go smile. Aww. A lot. I don't want to be like that. You want to be the good man? No, I want to be like if I play the Joker. I want to be like you know Batman. Here's the thing, buddy. I used to have it together. I was an accountant out there. Something mm. snapped. Boom, you blow somebody up. Why so serious, buddy? Just like have them like you. Yeah. And then blow people yeah. up. Yeah. Many of the original cast members share differing viewpoints on a possible remake, reimagining, etc. Um, of Buffy. What would be your thoughts on a reboot, Mr. Brendan? My thoughts on a reboot are su as such. Uh, here in and there on two, you need some characters from the old one and the two that make the most sense are Xander and Willow uh, to go along with Xander being the watcher uh, but the so, watcher yeah Xander being the watcher yeah. that's an interesting because concept. in the comics I am too oh, yeah but I think that Xander has translating uh, that onto uh, life has hit him hard and he's and he's got a pill problem and he's got a drinking problem and he Ooh. goes to meetings and stuff he's, he's still funny but it's much more bite. And then Willow was was is the bad person. She's been dark Willow for the last fifteen. Oh my! Why would you do? Okay, this is a and really it's just devastation. dark show. That's my pitch. That was my pitch. It's too dark. It's so she, dark. She's caused havoc. I mean, that's why Xander's drinking. Oh, pill pop. Uh, where, 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 where's Buffy at? Gone. Buffy's the new Black Slayer. I thought it was just rumored. No, they're gonna do it for their streaming, for their Fox streaming guy, not like Netflix. They're gonna open up Netflix on TV. A series? Yeah. Wow, dude. Have they approached you? No. No, I haven't at all. Joss is involved. Gail Brim is involved. Joss is yeah. involved? He's, he's executive producer. Wow. But a woman from The Shield is, is the show. Interesting. Yeah, check it out. Has a cast been assembled? No. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. That's, right. That's, that's, I know. Where do you, you think? Do you donning my eye patch again? That would be amazing. Do you know in, in what direction they're going? No. Nothing. Zero. Does anybody know? No. Like, don't ask, don't tell. Uh -uh. Uh, it's secret. All right. Are you team Cordy or are you team Anyanka? Cordy, I think. It was more entertaining. Anyanka, I always knew that. that wasn't Anyanka, gonna work out. you're actually calling her Anyanka, Anyanka too. It wasn't going to work <laughs> out. It she wasn't. Was she was the demon. And Cordy was, you know, I had his ass. Speaking of teams, one of the biggest debates surrounding the show was the whole Angel versus Spike aspect. Uh, so Team Angel or Team Spike? Angel's the most boring character ever on television. Well, so Team Spike. Yeah, 100%. Okay, so why Team Spike other than things against Angel? <laughs> More fun to look at. As in James Morris? Yeah, the blonde and, and, and the cheekbones uh, yeah. and stuff. And the, the and the accent, you know. My favorite line maybe ever on Buffy was when Buffy says to Spike, all right, five words less, why are you here? And he's like, out for a walk. And he's so excited. He's so Bitch. excited. Bitch. Nice. What are you doing here? Five words or less. Out for a walk, bitch. How was your relationship with Sarah? Like, what the hell? 
Oh. No, we were. It, it, it was. It was good. We had a good working relationship, you know, because we were there from the beginning. Oh, me and Buffy go way back, old friends, very close. Then there was that period of estrangement where I think we were both growing as people, but now here we are, like old times. I'm quite moved. Yeah. Um, and you know, it's that thing where it's. It was. It, it was. It was difficult, and it was great. You know, but it was. It was. It's family. You know, seven years together. Yeah. And like she was number one on the call, she was number two. Huge chasm, by the way, from one to two on the call sheet. And uh, she just worked her ass off. And she was in every shot, you know, and she would get really ornery sometimes. And, and that's understandable. Uh, but so, yeah, she just really, we, we got along really, really, really well. She taught me everything because I hadn't enacted it all. So when we were shooting the pilot, I didn't know what camera left was, camera right was. I didn't know what a mark was, and she just like, she she taught me. Like, wow, yeah, that's nice, of right? So, what what was a really fun episode that you filmed? Yeah. Um, Buffy versus Dracula, Zeppo, um, the musical episode. Do you uh, still got any of the moves? Moves? Come on, puppy shirt. Pucker on up because you can kiss your pale ass Silence. good. Yes, master. What is your favorite season of Buffy? Season one, I know season two through seven is an amalgamation of one long season, really. But whatever the musical episode was in, it's probably, probably my favorite. That's six? Yeah, six. Yeah. Six is good. Favorite. Seven is my least favorite. It's dark. And I get maudlin. I get weird. I seven, you don't like. No, I have an eye patch and I'm pissed. Hey! Hey! Eh. <laughs> what? Eh? I, well, I've never done this before, you know. I, and the, the beats. I, I prepared, but it's like. It, with our song, it's at the end. It's like a three or four count, and then it goes to like a three count, and then like a two. It's just kind of thin. Sure. Favorite scene that you filmed, Mr. Brendan? Maybe. The Xander Spike stuff, it was so good. Uh, the, the, the Willow thing, saving, saving the planet Earth. The Zeppo stuff, they're not baking a cake. The having sex with, the, with Faith stuff. The musical, I don't know, how do you do that? Yeah, that's true. It's like picking my, my favorite kid. I love you, Willow. Stop! I love you. Favorite character? Xander. Other than you. Spike. <laughs> Why Spike? It's fucking funny. I mean, Evan funny. He's good. Mm -hmm. He's a good, solid. He's the Fonz. He was written. He, Josh was supposed to kill him. And yeah. he became too popular. So, yeah. So, how did that play out um, uh, backstage? I remember, like, when, when it's like, I'm like, oh, this is for real. He and, he and I were at an autograph signing in England. And his line was, like, five times longer than mine. I was like, ooh. <laughs> I think this guy is not even a serious regular yet. <laughs> He's already taking over.